Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Your Willy, and I'm in another Minecraft worldy tutorial thingy majig. Now, I did post this right after a showcase showdown video. I don't like posting two videos close to each other, so if you haven't seen that, click the toolbar at the bottom. I have an annotation, so you can watch my showcase showdown video. If you have seen that, then don't click the annotation. You've already seen the video. What's wrong with you? Watch this video. It's cooler, newer, and shinier. Less rust on it. Anyways, I have a guest with me, CheeseGrader92. He is a commoner on my server. He's been playing for quite a while. And I'll go ahead and have him say hello. Now, I would like to mention he doesn't have a mic. So he won't be able to talk, <laughs> which is why he's using messages. Uh, but he can't hear me, so that makes half the conversation easier. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go and ho ahead and show you how to make an elevator. Now, I've already covered this. As you can see over there is the old elevator tutorial, but they've been changed. Since 1.1 came out, the old elevator plugin became out of date, and I updated it with a new one. So definitely watch this, especially if you've already built an elevator on the server. This will help you fix it because it will be broken. So first, you put an iron block at the bottom. Two blocks up you put a button and then you put a sign it is required to put a sign above the button now then uh, a block above it you used to put glass now you don't instead on the floor that you have you put a glass block doesn't matter which floor it is to up you put another button and then another sign you have to put a sign above the button on every floor it is mandatory now before you used to put the iron block on top now it's not required. You can put nothing, or you can put an iron block, or you can put a stone. It doesn't really matter anymore for the top block. The only iron block that's required is the bottom one. Now your elevator won't work. See, I right-click this button, because I'm in creative mode. If I left-click it, I'll destroy it. If I click this button, and nothing happens. Why? Well, the elevator is not activated. To activate it, you just right-click on the sign here, and it'll say your current floor and the destination floor that you're going to. Now it'll work. Um, one way. Now to get it to work the other way, you just right click on the sign and it will once again say what floor you're on and what floor you're going to. Now the lowest floor will be floor one and the highest floor will be the highest number. And now you can get it to work both ways. You don't need to right click that sign ever again. It's done, especially for a two floor room. You never need to worry about it. That's all you needed to do to activate it and you're good to go. Now, um, to get to multi floors, We'll wander over here, and this will also show you some of the other cool features. <laughs> Unless you have a basement, of course. Now, um, this will show you some of the other cool features we have available to us. Now, before, as you know, you used to only be able to make it a one-person elevator. Now you can make it a multi-person elevator, and you can make the elevator floor as big as you want to a restriction. And I'll show you the restriction in the next... Oh, he disconnected. Oh no, I lost you! Sad face. Where's my sad face? There's my sad face. Um, he'll connect in a sec. But um, now, to do more than one floor, you just uh, connect the iron blocks on the floor. And this is where your elevator pad is. So if you're standing here, you won't get elevated. If you're standing here, you will. Any of the iron floors. Now, to do multi-floors is just like the old one. You need to make sure you have a sign on each floor. Then you can right-click the sign to switch between which floor you want to go to. Now, you need to put a glass floor at the bottom of each one. Um, once again, remember, unlike the old one, you don't put glass on top. You just put it at the bottom of each floor. So I'm going to go ahead and go to floor 4 here. And I'm going to stand at the very far corner and hit this button. So you can see it brings me all the way up. And relatively smooth. Now, if you use Spout Craft, it will run a lot smoother than if you run Minecraft. So, definitely, if you have Spout Craft, use it. If you don't have it, download it. Trust me, it will make the going up and down a lot less laggy. Trust me, it will save you a lot of effort. Now, um, there's a couple changes to it. One, uh, Cheese Grater, if you mind coming up here. There we go. Now, join me on this elevator pad. Now, before, only I could go up and down. If I hit the button, nobody else would join me. Now, other people will actually teleport with me. 
as long as they're on the same floor as you. Now let's go ahead and go to floor three here and go up. There we go. Now I'm going to show you another cool thing. Now before, you stay right there, if I was on the lowest floor and I was going to a higher floor, let's say I'm going to floor two, it would drop the people above you all the way down and they'd go splat. And that's no fun because it would kill you and your items would go everywhere and people would be like, yeah, free items. Not cool. But they fixed that with this new plugin. Now, by the way, this plugin is called Lyft. Went ahead and put that in the description and a link to the download uh, page below. Uh, the old one was B Lyft, which is what it's based off. Now, if I click up, one thing that you notice, he didn't move anywhere. Also, his floor didn't move anywhere. So you don't have to worry about going splat. Now, let's say if I'm going to the floor he's on. Well, there's floor three. He just stays right in place. It actually fixes him. He can't move or anything like that until the action's finished to prevent him from being lost. Go ahead and stay there. And if I go to floor four, I will just pass him. Hello, goodbye. So once again, no worries about being on another floor and dying. Um... Also, if he's going on a floor, this maybe he's going to floor one. So go ahead and switch that sign to floor one for me. And tell me when you're ready. And if I'm going to floor four, which is higher than him. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. He'll stay in place. Won't be able to go down until he hits the button uh, after I'm done. So you don't have to worry about screwing it up by trying to go two different directions at once it won't let you whoever hits the button first which I do because I have a split second delay between the audio he hears um, and what I actually do so that's really nice now let's see some other cool features now if you move for me for a sec cheese you're in my way sign okay you can label your floors now so let's go ahead and put this on the second line I'm gonna go ahead and put pie room because I like my pie now I'm gonna go ahead and go to floor two here put on this one not so pie room floor three I'm gonna go ahead and put wow and on the fourth floor I'm going to put done okay now if I right click as you can see nothing's changed right here if I right click now it will actually put the name of the room so if you have a room that's basement you can put basement on the sign if you have a room that's your you know kitchen you can say kitchen that way you can actually know what the different rooms are and you know I, I want to go to the not so pie room now I want to go to the pie room because pie room's awesome and so on and so forth. So that's a really cool feature. Another one before, if you had things like torches in your elevator, it would prevent your elevator from working. It would say obstruction. Well, no longer. And that's awesome because if your tunnel's really dark, which some people's tunnels are, especially if you put them in caves, it would be really nice to have some torches on the wall. So now you can actually put torches within your tunnel and you don't have to worry about it screwing up your elevator it'll still work now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over here and show you another thing now I said you can make it really large up to a size this is the max size it's 16 blocks by default if you just download the plugin for your own server that's how many blocks you have if you feel like changing it for your own server you can for our server we're keeping it at the default 16 which is 4 by 4 if you decide to make a square you can also make a rectangle or whatever shape you feel like it as long as it fits a square size. Also, this, the walls don't have to be the same type of wall. You can make a pattern, you can make each room different, it really doesn't matter. Another cool thing that you can do, this is a two floor elevator here. Now, I'm gonna go up to second floor and the button's not here. Well, the button's over here. So as long as there's a button and a sign above it, it doesn't matter what part of the wall it is. So if you have an exit going this direction, you might want the button over here. So you can move the button around as long as it meets the, you know, the default setting of glass block or iron block. Nothing, button, sign. For the bare minimum, of course, if you want to label the room, you can put a sign down here and it will label it all the same. Also, the roof, like I said, it doesn't need to be filled. Before, you used to have to put 
you know, an iron block at this height, you don't anymore. So you can actually make the top floor roof, or actually any room's roof, higher than you used to be able to, which is very nice. Now, let's say you have the old B-plug, uh, B-lift plug-in in your own server like we did, and you need to fix it. Well, first off, you need to remove the glass that was at the at the extra floor. Then you need to put a sign on each of the associated floors to make sure that the lift works. And you can just right click it and get it activated. You can leave the iron block there or you can take it and sell it at the designated bank in your server or throw it at random pigeons on the street. Now, if you forget to do this, um, also, once again, multi-floor is the same. You just right-click to switch between the floors. And you got to do it to all three signs, or else the, the button just won't do anything. Now, if you forget to do it and you push the button, you will get jammed up onto this glass. So just destroy the glass, and it will allow you to continue up the elevator. Now, you can, instead of having to walk to each floor, you can just right-click the sign of the floor you're on to the floor that's not ready yet, and just right-click that sign. Just remember... It won't work until you right click it initially. I hope this tutorial helped and thank you CheeseGrader92 for hopping on with me and testing out the different elevator uh, settings and all that fun stuff and I hope that this helped you. Now remember, watch my other videos. Uh, yeah, they're videos of awesomeness and you gotta watch them because they're awesome and they're videos of awesomeness. I shall see you all later. This is Mr. Willie signing off. See you then.